Do you know what fiat money is and how it affects our economy? Well, in this video, we will explore the fascinating world of money and learn some interesting facts about fiat money and inflation. We will cover what fiat money is, what causes inflation, and some fast facts that you may not know about money and currency. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of how fiat money works and how it affects our economy. What is fiat money? A fiat currency is a type of currency that is not backed by any physical commodity. Instead, it is backed by the faith and credit of the government issuing it. Fiat money has been around for centuries, and it's a major part of how economies function. It's important to understand what fiat money is and how it works in order to appreciate why some countries experience economic crashes. For example, in the United States, we use fiat money to purchase items like groceries or cars. The government guarantees that each dollar will be worth a certain amount of gold or silver, no matter what happens with the economy. This means that even if the U.S. economy goes into decline, our currency will still be worth something because the government has promised to back it up. However, there are times when fiat money can become unstable. This is why some countries experience economic crashes. For example, during hyperinflationary periods where the value of a country's currency rapidly decreases, people might start using digital currencies instead because they are more stable than fiat money. This causes turmoil on global exchange markets as people try to exchange their digital currencies for other currencies. This is called the cryptocurrency frenzy. And to prevent it from happening in the future, Governments have implemented various policies like raising interest rates or implementing quantitative easing, printing new money. These measures help to stabilize fiat money and keep it from crashing due to external factors. Finally, it's important for individuals to understand how monetary policy works and why certain economies go through rough patches. Without understanding these concepts, they won't be able to appreciate why certain nations are struggling economically. What causes inflation? Well, if you're like most people, you probably don't understand what causes inflation. You probably don't understand what causes inflation. After all, it's a pretty complex topic, but luckily we're here to help. In this section, we'll outline the three main factors that cause inflation, economic growth, global trade, and fiscal policies, and explain how each of them can contribute to an increase in the supply of money. We'll also discuss the negative impacts that high inflation can have on an economy and how you can protect yourself from its effects. So, what is fiat currency? Well, fiat currency is money that is not backed by a physical commodity such as gold or silver. The value of fiat money is determined by government regulation and the market. Inflation occurs when the supply of money increases, devaluing individual units of money, factors, that cause inflation can include economic growth, when demand for goods and services increases, global trade, when countries sell more goods to each other than they buy, or fiscal policies, when governments change how they spend taxpayer dollars, and fluctuations in oil prices because oil is a vital resource used in many products. Understanding the causes of inflation can help you make better financial decisions for your future. Knowing when prices are going up or down is important information for planning your budget and shopping for groceries. It's also helpful for understanding why your wages may not be keeping up with inflation rates. If you see prices going up faster than your wages are increasing, it may be time to investigate whether there might be another source of income available to you. And finally, monetary policy, which refers to government actions with regard to money. It plays a role in controlling inflation rates over time. Governments use monetary policy tools such as interest rates and quantitative easing, creating new banknotes, in order to stabilize markets and promote economic growth while minimizing negative impacts on consumers or businesses. Interesting facts about fiat money and inflation. When most people think about money, they think of coins and bills. However, fiat money is a type of money that is not backed by a physical asset. Fiat money is created by government regulation, trust, and supply and demand. In other words, Governments allow the supply of fiat money to increase or decrease based on market conditions. This system allows for the currency to maintain its value even in times of economic turmoil. Understanding fiat money is important for economic stability. For example, when a country experiences an inflationary period where the price of goods and services increase, people will start to lose faith in the currency because it no longer represents their actual worth. This can lead to financial instability and even recessions as people scramble to convert their holdings into more stable assets like gold or silver. Hyperinflation can occur when a government prints too much fiat money. When this happens, 
prices rise uncontrollably as people attempt to exchange their worthless currency for goods that have real value, like food. A hyperinflationary period can be devastating for anyone who relies on the economy for their livelihoods. It's often hard to recover from. So, while you may not be able to stock up on dollars anytime soon, understanding fiat money is still an important part of understanding modern economies. In summary, fiat money is a type of currency backed by the government. It has no intrinsic value and it relies on its acceptance as a legal tender to gain value. Fiat money can be used in any amount, although typically it is regulated and inflation is managed to keep its purchasing power steady. Inflation occurs when there are more goods and services than money available to purchase them, driving up prices. It can be caused by a variety of factors, such as economic growth and increase in the money supply, or unexpected events like natural disasters or wars. Knowing about fiat money and inflation can help you make informed decisions about your finances and investments. And with that, we've reached the end of this video, all about fiat money crashing. If you enjoyed it and you found it interesting, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next one.